Deep in the vast expanse of space, beyond what the naked eye can see, lies a mystery that has puzzled scientists for decades. How did the first supermassive black holes come to be? For years, astronomers have searched the cosmos for answers, but the truth remained elusive until now. In this video, I reveal a recent discovery that provides new clues to the formation of these cosmic behemoths. But before we continue, I would like to take a moment to express my gratitude towards our channel's supporters. Your generous support allows us to continue bringing you informative and quality content. We truly appreciate your contribution. Thank you so much for being a part of our community and for supporting our work. A team of researchers from the University of Texas and the University of Arizona made a groundbreaking discovery. A rapidly growing black hole in one of the most extreme galaxies ever found in the very early universe. The galaxy, named COS 87259, is a behemoth, forming stars at a rate 1,000 times that of our own Milky Way and containing over a billion solar masses worth of interstellar dust. And at its center lies a supermassive black hole shrouded in cosmic dust, generating a strong jet of material moving at near light speed through the host galaxy. This new type of primordial black hole was found over a relatively small patch of sky, suggesting that there could be thousands of similar sources in the very early universe. This discovery raises several questions about the abundance of very early supermassive black holes, as well as the types of galaxies in which they typically form. The researchers used the Atacama Large Millimeter Array, ALMA, a radio observatory in Chile, to observe the galaxy. They found that nearly all of the black hole's light is emitted in the mid-infrared range of the electromagnetic spectrum, making it difficult to detect. But this wasn't the only surprise. The team also found that these supermassive black holes were often heavily obscured by dust, perhaps as a consequence of the intense star formation activity in their host galaxies. This is something that astronomers have predicted for years, but now they have the first direct observational evidence supporting this scenario. The discovery of this galaxy and its supermassive black hole provides new clues on the formation of the very first supermassive black holes. And while there is still much to learn, this discovery takes us one step closer to unlocking the secrets of the universe. The universe is full of mysteries, and this discovery has opened up a whole new realm of questions. How many more supermassive black holes are out there, lurking in the shadows, waiting to be discovered? What other secrets lie hidden in the vastness of space, just waiting for us to uncover them? Only time will tell, but for now, we can marvel at this incredible discovery and the mysteries it has revealed. And now, it's time to answer one of your questions. Verdi made a great point regarding the relativistic jets that emerge from early colossal black holes. Verdi's query was, how can we determine if the relativistic jets from early colossal black holes are capable of generating heavy metals? That's a great question, Verdi. To answer it, scientists can study the composition of stars and galaxies to see if they contain heavy metals that could have been produced by relativistic jets from black holes. They can also use computer simulations to model the physical processes that take place near black holes and study the resulting effects on matter. While we don't have a definitive answer yet, ongoing research in this field is helping us learn more about the behavior of black holes and the universe as a whole. Thank you for your comment, Verdi, and for keeping the conversation going. And that wraps up today's video. If you have any questions or thoughts you'd like to share, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to share it with family and friends who might be interested. Thank you for watching.